Okay, so now I'm on sample two. So that's the page that I made here. And now let's just suppose that I want to hide that page. So over on the right, you're gonna see we're in pages and see how you have one that has a slash through it. What that means is that page exists, but it's hidden from the navigation. So when you go to publish it, you won't see it. So I want to highlight a couple of things up here now. So here is a menu. You can be on insert and you have a choice for a whole bunch of stuff. You can be on pages or you can be on themes. So naturally, if you want to hide a page, you'll need to be on pages. That's sometimes it, something you don't always see if you're brand new to the platform. So now I can hide any one of those pages that I want to. So I can go to about me. Look at where it is right now. It's up at the top. If I want to hide it, I'm going to click those three dots right next to it and I will choose hide from navigation. When I do that, watch. So now about me just went away. It's gone. I can still link to it, but it is not up in that navigation. I could hide everything I want. So my coursework, hide from navigation, gone. Outside the classroom, hide from navigation. Go on, I could hide sample from navigation, which means sample two is also going to go away from the navigation. Now everything is gone. Now that does not mean it's actually gone. It just means that you have hidden all of these links so you have no navigation. This is how the high school newsletter is. It is a Google site and they have hidden all the pages. So let's go ahead and show everything in navigation. So you can just change your mind on a whim and you can also have a completely built out site and decide, oh, I don't want to show any of those pages to anyone else and save it for another time. That's how you hide a page in Google Sites in your ePortfolio.